Yup, the old dad diary. Today in my English class, we were talking about we were talking about how essential communication for college kids is pickup artistry. How to walk up to someone you don't know but are interested in getting to know and open your mouth and make words come out that foster a conversation. We went around the room and I asked everyone what their game was, right? What their approach was, whether it was jo joke, whether it was buy a drink, buy a shot, give a compliment. And one student said, you know man, people are people. If you have something to say, just walk up to them and say it. But you know, with the internet, it's so much harder. I mean, because it's easier. We can, I can message someone who I would never have the courage necessarily to, me to talk to in real life. I can send a quick message to you instantaneously on Facebook. It lowers the barriers to communication, but it makes the content and the experience just the shell of what it is in real life. I mean, I have 2,000 Facebook friends, but only know like 20 of them. Like people who I've never met before in my entire life who message me and say, and say, say to me, reassure me, assuage me that I'm doing good work, right? That actually matters to me, but I've never seen them. And maybe I will never ever see them. So it's a bit of a contradiction. So I think we're living in this weird, hybrid, almost cyborg world where we're connected to the digital internet, connected to an artificial reality, and yet walking day to day in a real physical world. And it's like we're living two lives, like the footage for this video. Walk to the fire hydrant to put the camera there, walk back, press start, press record, and then walked forward, reliving the walk so it could be recorded here so that I could have a life on the internet. That's scary, but that's real. I think that's where the interesting conversations are. What's scary, what's real, what's not being said. Yep, the alt dad diary. <laughs>